How's it going everybody? Um, hope everybody's doing well. This video is going to be about my prediction on the upcoming fight in the heavyweight division that's taking place this weekend between Alan the Savage Babic and Niall Kennedy. This is Alan Babic's fifth professional fight um, and it's against an Irish heavyweight by the name of Niall Kennedy who has a decent record of 13 wins, one draw and one defeat. Um, you can't really complain about the level of Bavik's opposition uh, due to it only being his fifth professional fight. However, what I can say is I haven't seen too much on Niall Kennedy, but what I have seen of him in his fights is there's no absolutely no special effects to him. He's quite a stationary fighter. He's, he hasn't got very fast feet. He hasn't got very fast hands, and to me it doesn't look like he has very much power. He seems to be quite a tough guy. Uh, he hasn't got terrible boxing technique, but to me he's he's a journeyman, even though his record isn't quite a journeyman's record because he hasn't faced any high-level opponents. Uh, he's got the you know, boxing fundamentals of a club fighter, uh, However, that being said, Alan Babic is very crude himself in terms of his technique. Um, so it's not going to be a very skillful matchup, this. But I think it's going to be entertaining while it lasts. I don't think it's going to last that long. Because uh, now, like I said, now Kennedy hasn't got great movement. He uses his jab, but it's not a stiff jab that's going to stop Babic in his tracks. So I don't think he's going to be able to keep Babich off of him when he go, when Babich starts going savage when the first bell rings. I think Babich is going to jump all over him. And I'm expecting Babich to knock now Kennedy out within the first two rounds, possibly the first round. I think he's going to maul him, and I think it's going to be over quickly. Um, that's my thoughts on the fight. Um, however, I'm hearing rumors that Babich is next opponent is going to be or possibly be Tom Little who's been quite vocal about getting a, a possible fight against uh, Alan Babic as he says you know Babic is is nothing you know Babic has no skills he's easy to hit and all that and that's all true but the bottom line is can you keep Babic off of you and can you handle Babic's power um that remains to be seen. Um, I'll be very interested in the Alan Babic versus Tom Little fight, though. Just even the build-up to that fight will be very entertaining, as Tom Little's quite a funny character, and Alan Babic himself is a character. So that's the the fight I'd like to see made if Alan Babic gets past Nile Kennedy, which I expect him to do quite easily and quite quickly. Uh, he may take quite a few shots on his, you know, in in the short fight against Nal Kennedy simply due to the fact of, of him being hyper-aggressive and he he doesn't really worry about defense. His defense is his offense. He's going to jump all over Nal Kennedy. Uh, he's going to be extremely aggressive. And I think at this with this level of opposition, that's fine and I think it'll work. But when he starts to step up in competition and he comes up against guys with a with a really good jab and that have a bit of movement and footwork and defense and boxing skills to them, I think he's going to come up short. But for now, I'm expecting the Babic train to roll on. And like I said, I'm expecting Babic to win by KO within the first two rounds. That's my thoughts on the fight, guys. Let me know your opinions. Are you interested in this fight at all? Have you seen Nal Kennedy fight before? Are you a fan of Babic? Um, let me know in the comment section below who you pick in to win the fight. Thanks for watching the video, guys. And one one other thing. Can you please hit the subscribe and like button? That'll really help me out. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.